Viewspace is back on AppSumo and this is one of the oldest limiteds I bought when it was Nimbus Notes and I use it all the time, highly recommend it. This is the main dashboard. It starts out life like um, a OneNote or an Evernote replacement and that's why I got it. But they've now added portals if you're working with clients. I don't use those, but they're there. You can have different workbooks and I've set up a demo workbook and if we go into it, it allows you to very easily organize your information. So you can see we've got pages, you've got files, you've got tasks, and I'll come on to the AI agents because they're new. They've just been introduced. If we just go into this blank page, you can just easily type it out. You've got lots of options to do with Kanbans. You've got steps. You can see these have just been added recently, actually. Fusebase AI. Then you've got headings. And so you can actually build out a knowledge base or, or almost like a mini website uh, within this as it is. But now they've included extra bits and pieces to do with AI. So first of all, let me just bang in a Kanban board just so you can see that before we move on. So there you go, there's Kanban board. So you can have that as part of your project. You might have a little bit of information and here's the tasks and so on and so forth. So that's brilliant. You can have the ads portal and that allows you to open this up to external people without giving them access to your entire account. So it just gives you a portal. But the thing that I was most excited about and I recently upgraded to is these AI agents. If you've used something like MindPal, it's a little bit similar to that in that you can create your own AI agents very quickly and easily. It comes with a load of them pre-set up, AI chat with web search, you've got rewriters, blog posts, company profiles, FAQ generator. There's loads of them there already. There's categories down the side and you can add your own category. So I would first recommend adding one and just call it my agents. And that way, when you create an agent, you can easily find them. And then to create an agent, if we just say add new, you go in, you give it a title, you put it in a category, give it a description. The input is the information to pass to the AI agent single or multi-line so it could just be something as simple as um, a url or maybe just answering some questions give it a field name put a placeholder in and then down here you've got the actual prompt to use so you're an seo expert here's a website come up with a plan something like that here's the, here's where things get interesting though you can add sources so you might have a knowledge base built in with loads of different Q and A's uh, and information about your product or your services or whatever that is. And you can add that as a source. Now I, I this is a demo workspace, so I don't have anything, but if I go over to my, um, YouTube section, for example, and then I've got YouTube title, AB tests, I could select that one file or I could select everything in that folder and that will give it your bespoke information to use with the AI. So for example, I've built an AI agent that is, where's my agents? About YouTube title generators. So if we just click edit, you can see it. So YouTube title writer, I've not bothered with the description, but I've put a working title and then I've put a text input to paste the transcript or the video description. The prompt is you're a YouTube expert who understands attention grabbing click worthy titles review the working title you notice it says at that's referencing the input and the video description and draw inspiration from and then that's the resource i just showed you suggest five new video titles and it does a very good job and if i wanted to i've just seen up here uh, coming soon you're gonna be able to share and embed these on your own website but it doesn't just stop there what i also really like that they've done is if we go up here to automation this is a new section. This is a workflow section that allows you to string different agents together. So we've got, I've got it manually running and it's got a page here, which will ask for information. And then that information will be used to run a specific agent. And I've got to just fill this out. So I'm just in the, in the process of setting this up. And so it'd be manually run and I need to just set up the fields add those in and then it would run a second agent and it will pass the information down. So each of your expert agents, and this is why I say it's a little bit like uh, mind pals, each of your agents can have information passed to them and they can each do a task. You can see on the right here, it's not just about running agents, it, it actually interacts with other elements as well. So we've got 
AI Table, Fori, which I think has been renamed now, Airtable, Apollo, ClickUp, FlowU, there's, there's loads of things there. There is a few missing. I've suggested to them, for example, there's no Google Sheets. That'd be great to be able to drop things into Google Sheets and say they're going to take a look at that. But you see there's a lot of stuff there that allows you to then maybe run an AI component and then pass that through to something, WordPress, uh, your Trello, well, whatever it is you want to do. So you're no longer just getting this uh, area to keep notes. You can now do a lot of stuff with the notes using AI and the workflows. They also have a couple of Chrome extensions allowing you to access your AI bots around the web. If you like the look of this, I'll put an affiliate link to this deal page down below. Just a couple of things to note. It starts off at $79, but the first two or three code levels can be a little bit restrictive because if you scroll down, you don't get the web search AI agents, you don't get SOC2, you don't get HIPAA, you don't get the white labeling. I did mention that, but you can white label it as well. So in actual fact, if you want everything, if we go up, it's five codes, gets you everything, and then it's just increasing the limits. So the number of users, the number of workspaces, the number of client portals, the number of OCR records, because if you take a picture, it can do OCR on them, the number of AI agents. We go down to four codes, you can see you're missing the uh, SOC2 and the HIPAA elements, which I know are very important, especially if you're in, I think it's medical, it's, it's, you need HIPAA. So you're going to be looking at five codes, which at 395, I don't think's too bad. I've seen a lot more expensive deals at five codes, and it goes all the way up to 10 codes. And at 10 codes, you can have an unlimited number of workspaces and an unlimited number of client accounts two terabytes of storage and a limited number of AI agents so you can make as many as you want and experiment with them. Overall, I've been very pleased with this. I am glad that they're giving people the opportunity to get hold of this now that they've added all the AI agents, but hopefully they're not going to keep coming back because I'd like to see them grow and grow because it's a, it's a big investment for people and I want to see Fusebase do really, really well. Let me know what you think to this down in the comments below.